Ed, uh, this is the segment uh, that we're looking for mm. a sponsor, of course, but we should be able to get one. Maybe a man who could help us in sh- uh, get us a sponsor well, in we, our we, shorting of bond. For the segment. I'll get yeah. a sponsor. Yeah, well, maybe uh, Andrew Pridham might be able to. Do, Are you going to short or buy Andrew well, Pridham? Well, I'm buying Andrew Pridham. Yeah. Because there is a big push for him to be the next chairman of the AFL Commission. So we've got the Kosh. Yeah, I think uh, Pridham's the man. Craig Drummond. Yeah, well, he's the other one all right, at the moment. They're the... You know, they, they, there was Koshy, who's thereabouts, but um, uh, there's a bit going on behind the scenes. Are we going to have a debate, uh, like as in Trump-Biden style, with those <laughs> two standing up? But there yeah. is a big push yeah. at the moment, yeah. okay? Yeah. So, okay? So yeah. you're buying him? Well, I'm buying him because his team's going pretty well, except they got done on the weekend, but they're, mm. they're going all right. Can I ask and you? I don't, and the other thing you've got to... Uh, You've got to say is that the Sydney was the facilities that built up in oh, Sydney are, are fantastic. So good, so good. You know, and going from where they were to where they are, can is I, fantastic. Can right? I ask this next one? Yep. And you cannot smile, laugh, or be your inner ten-year-old. All right. Okay, Try me. your best. Yeah. Okay. Slippery balls. Exactly. <laughs> are you buying some slippery balls, or are you selling uh, your slippery well, balls? I'm just. Uh, I'm. Uh, <laughs> I'm holding slippery balls. Oh jeez. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, the footy looks good yeah, on know, TV. But, but, but over the next month, I mean, it makes no sense. You doesn't. can't mark it, you can't handball it, you can't kick it. Was that again? Frio. Yeah, I'm going to buy some Frio. Because mm. what I'm saying and what I saw, what they did against uh, the Swans, my, my thing with Frio, you've got such a good defence. It's well coached. Trust it. Get it up into the game and attack. If they yeah, play midfield. that way, they're going to be a tough side good to midfield. beat. Good Will Day. Oh, I think we've bought a boatload of Will Day. Is someone offering more Will Day? Can we get we're some Will Day? We're gonna, mate, we're going to get it. All right. We've got it. We're <laughs> definitely right. buying Will Day. Um, the Olympics. I, I'm buying all the Olympics. I'm we, buying the Olympics. Because as a kid, one of your favourite things was the Olympics. You learn about the Olympics at school. You did yeah. all the history. I couldn't watch enough of the Olympics. Well, I'm, I'm doing, a, obviously, a lot of homework on the Olympics. At the moment, I've been watching the US trials. And the Jamaicans came out on the weekend and just went berserk in the hundreds again. And uh, the US trials have been fantastic. The European championships have been great. The middle distance mm. and the longer distances. The swimming is building up. And, uh, you know, uh, th- this whole, excuse me, Kate Campbell situation where she came out and said, uh, you know, mm. it's great when the American national anthem's not on and they stop them ringing that infernal cowbell. And mm. have you got onto this? Yeah, yeah I, I Phelps, see. And Felsi bought in. He's yeah. bought in. Yeah. He's, he's got nuts on it. Yeah, he's so got him. That's, it's going to be absolutely sensational. Can I put this to you? Dusty Martin. Yeah. In what reference are we buying or I shorting? saw him come off the ground yesterday. His back's gone. He's played 300 games. The Tigers are going to be rebuilding. I'll tell you what, I'm my, sure... My problem is, I mean, I don't ever wanted to... Anyone who's getting paid big money, you, know, you want to take that as long as you possibly can. But... I just wonder where other. So I'm asking you: Are you the dusty? Go on. Short, hold, I'm, buy. I'm shorting his back. Yeah. Well, mate, we might need to lengthen it to fix him for, yeah. for a while. So I'm shorting his back, letting him down. But I'm buying him. Going on another year for the Tigers. For the Tigers. I I agree with you. I would love to see Dusty and uh, Ralph Carr if you're listening. Come out and say that. I'm going to come next year. I'm going to play here. I'm going to do the preseason and help these guys. And I'm going to be played as we go. So he's not going to play. They're playing in the state. He won't play next week. Mm. Yeah, And I'll probably play 10 or 15 games. And you know what? He deserves the super. Correct. And and, and everything else that goes with it. But I'd love him to say that, not have the ongoing will yeah, he go. Saga. Because he wouldn't. Uh, the dusty game to the Gold Coast makes no sense to me. Mm. No. Uh, buying or shorting Thursday night footy? I think we're buying. We're buying it. We're buying every we're Thursday filling night. Filling our boots every time that's yeah. not on. We're going why isn't it on? Um, well, you're clearly going to be shorting Essendon in the Collingwood Essendon match. Well, no, it was more the game itself, mm-hmm. and that is we've got another. This is probably the biggest. I mean, the, the day itself on Anzac Day takes care of itself, but this is the biggest Collingwood Essendon game for a long, long time. Yep. So uh, whoever that. loses this is in trouble, I reckon, uh, including the Pies. I'm not putting the trouble line just yet. Buying, I'm buying some taggers. Yep. Do you know, taggers are back. Do you know what? It's really helpful to your winning. Mm. Stop the opposition's best player going well. It's, uh, Who'd have thought? It's worked for us quite some time. International rules? Well, I'm clearly buying it because I've got um, <laughs> some... Actually, I might be up in front of the, the AFL uh, Securities Commission here because... Insider um, trading? I've got some insider <laughs> trading going on here at the moment. I might end up with handcuffs. So exactly, I'm definitely... Yeah. Buy, 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 buy. Uh, Richmond Crowds. 
Um, I'll just throw that in. I think I gave them a whack before mm-hmm. leaving. So you're shorting in <laughs> the crowds, eh? Uh, Are they a bit short, the they're crowds? A bit short, yeah. yeah. Uh, Geelong night games in Melbourne. Yes. Uh, I find Friday night for Geelong fans, although it's good Friday night at the MC. I think night games at the MCG. I think they do well night games at Marvel. Mm-hmm. But Twilight games in Melbourne are a bit better time slot. So the yeah. 4.30 time slot. So Twilight games on a Saturday, clearly not Thursday or Friday, is the hitting zone. But again, going back to mm. an earlier topic, Geelong are prepared to... Well, they've made a monster mm. by playing the big games against Collingwood, yeah. etc. here. Colling, uh, Geelong, I thought they could, could have had a bigger crowd for that. So and I reckon if they're going to play the big games in Melbourne, 4.30... 4.30 Saturday or Sunday. Sunday, yeah. night games... Play them in Geelong. Yep. Okay. The, Good. But that's again, that's just my two cents worth. Geelong weaponi- supporters might be wrong. No, Weaponise it. But what I'm saying there is that uh, don't waste that. I'll watch this next one. Are you buying or shorting reporters now being chief lobbyists? Yes, I am buying that mm. premise. Premise. Mm. There, I am shorting it as what should be happening. Yes. And I think it's leading to at times. Oh, exhibit A. Mm. Uh, Caro's obviously. Uh, you know, she's got Andrew Ireland in her ear and Pridham and, and, and all that. And so watch that over the next bit in the push for Andrew Pridham, yep. who's pushing it. But uh, clearly the non-Victorians uh, are riding hard because I think the way that the, the media have turned on Andrew Bassett uh, and just called him a whinger rather than let's have a look. Mm. I mean, everyone whinges. No one ever says anything's good. But you've got to be able to go through them and work it out what, yep. where, it's, where the situation is. So, yes, reporters mm. as lobbyists, no good. Pink boots. Well, I'm not buying them. Physically, I'm not buying them. Well, everyone pink else boots. is. Yeah, I know. So I'm shorting them. No, I don't get bothered by colours of footy boots. Yeah, I just saw it the other day. And while everyone's whinging and carry on about uh, clash colours and all the rest of it, I mean, I'm not fussed about it. I mean, it's, it's the fashion of the day. But I just thought the pink boots. I mean, yeah, I know it's a big Nike go at the moment. Mm. but we, I, I'll really? give you... I just thought I actually know a little bit about the footy boot landscape. Yeah, okay. We've be, we've become an outpost for the big brands where we used to have local, yeah. you know, big heads of Adidas and Nike and things like that. Yeah. I, I know we're well represented, but we get soccer boots. Yeah. And so we're dictated to by what's going on in the soccer world. Yep. Because we are a small market. As much we as we'd like to think we are big, soccer is a lot bigger market. Well, there was a real opportunity there because players are getting paid a lot of money these days. And guess what? Outside of their mouth guard, they've got one bit of equipment. I know this. One bit of kit. Mm. You know, the Gordon Coventry war in his 300 games and 1,299 goals Mm. and six, five premierships, three pairs of boots in the entire time. It's amazing. Yeah. There you go. Just a bit of trivia on the way through. There you go. Mm. Are you going to buy or short or hold Max King? I'm going to buy him. Are you? Yeah, and I know a lot of people who are coming after Max King. I think the talent's there. You can't... Um, yeah, argue this with is the St Kilda's Max King. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Um, brother second on the uh, Ben Benjamin. Ben. Okay, so that gives you always you look at them. Mm. I think it's both at the moment with the Saints. Yeah, I think Max can be better. Yeah, but their ball use can be better. I'm holding, but I'm turning up to the AGM to ask some hard questions. Yeah, yeah, and okay. I'm going to. I know that the reason why I'm buying it's a bit like Hawthorne. I know a lot of people are selling. Yeah, and I'm buying. Yeah. Um, okay, well I'm, I'm I'm with you at the moment. I'm buying a distressed asset, if you okay, will. Exactly, but how do we make it a better asset quickly? Better ball use, bit quicker ball use, and then also Max can get to work. Hey Max, get the gym. Yep. Hey Max, put on five kilos. So I'm still buying potential here. Yeah, again, I go. I'm now being. My eyes are opening up more and more to what's going on in America, and I've seen players um, the way they really train over there for college football, and. Uh, it, mm. it sort of makes the AFL guys look a bit part time, to be honest. If I'm going to get a paid million bucks a year, I'm 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 toughening up and yeah, doing everything, doing everything Cause, possible. Because you know what, I you just, might be able to add an extra year at another million dollars. Well, extra five years. Mm. Well, but not only that, mate, you're the prime of your life. Yep, be grouse. All right. Okay. Buy short or hold on. We'll go quickly with these <laughs> these teams. The doggies, I'm definitely buying. GWS. Um, well, yeah, oh, I'll say uh, I'm not. Uh, I'm not completely selling them yet. No, I'm holding um, on port. Port pies. Um, I'm holding on the pies. Yeah, and Essendon. Um, I'm holding on the oh, bombers. So next, the next month is going to be fantastic. Geelong's development program. I'm buying this in boatloads because I know it. Mm. I know it's extremely well. They keep turning rookie list players and yep. deep 
draft picks into ready-made AFL players. That was a good decision last week to put Stewart in the centre. It was. What did we say last week? They found another beauty in Lawson Humphreys too. Yeah. Chel- uh, spell checkers in the cheer squads. Yes. <laughs> I'm buying, buying, <laughs> buying. Yeah, if you ever look, they yeah. spelt Isaac wrong for Isaac Quain. Or they used all their effort on congratulations. Yeah, exactly. Whereas Steve Braxy said, congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> and she's got, and they're just a source of eternal mirth. I love them. It's great. They're and great people. The it's cheers. great. They're the best. And the occasional spelling mistake just makes it look yeah, so it human. It. The it's Giants great. had one earlier this yeah. year. I think they forgot a, an N or something yeah. in, in one of theirs. <laughs> All right. In or, um, in or out for Lexus yeah, of Blackburn? For Lexus of Blackburn. That's uh, sensational. All right, I'll ask you, okay? Mm-hmm. Oh, you better ask me. All right, the chip in the footy needs to happen quickly to avoid spending five minutes seeing if a player marked the ball between the point and goalpost in or Well, the out. point or the goalpost is the, is, the, is the salient part of this, and that is because there's no cameras between the point and the goalpost at the moment. So, yeah, it's where it's at is the, uh, uh, the, the trial process is continuing and uh, it, it, it's, it's going okay. Slashing the money penalties for players, that's out because you can fix that by changing the matrix and just punishing them for striking people. How about just... uh, Don't hit people. Don't do the wrong thing. Mm. Kicking in danger doesn't exist anymore. Uh, No, that's out. I've seen a couple being paid. I think they're focused a bit more in on players. But it's going to be on the ground. It's going to be slippery in the next couple of weeks and you're going to go the soccer off the ground a lot more. So, But I think players are keeping their feet a bit more with that contact below the knees. Yeah, exactly. But I still reckon they're kicking off the ground. We've got to just keep an eye on that Mm. one. Uh, Sydney need to sort out their starts to games before it costs them a final. Well, in-ish. Yeah. They nearly did roll uh, Frio. Says his sons can't be taken seriously until they win away. Well, that's him because they actually have to win away to make the make finals. The finals, yeah. Giants just aren't that good this year. I reckon oh, yeah. Out. Get in the bin, Richard. Yeah. Richard, put yeah, that we'll one get in. A right? suplex yeah, you in a minute. Okay. <laughs> right. Send your questions to Ask Jimmy, uh, Eddie and Jimmy, Footy on Nine, Facebook. All right, I've got X. the first one. All right. Clear the decks here. Are you ready for yeah. your, you're now at the lectern, Ed? Mm-hmm. Eddie, how do you feel about. Braden Maynard staging, holding his head after an open hand to the chest after his comments about Stephen May. The floor is yours, Ed. Is this from Dave? This is from Dave. Dave, clearly you are not an expert or uh, exponent of the art of martial arts. Okay, the Derek, act of martial arts. He's been long a martial artist, Bruce Lee. Huh? That is a strike to the sternum. Is better than actually a punch to the stern. A bit of Street Fighter. Oh, look at, that's it. Right. <laughs> and if you have history, you will know that in 1984, in a tribunal that included Richmond's Neil Peart, who was actually a very good opening bowler for Victoria as well, mm-hmm. who played uh, for a little while. Use your well. muddying the waters beautifully. Because right, I covered, I covered <laughs> this. They brought in as an expert witness a bloke by the name of Tino Sobrano, Kate Sobrano's father, who was an exponent of martial arts, mm. where he said that the execution of that, and that is the technique, okay, as you hit through, you must pull your fingers back and you get that because you get the extension of the shoulder and the elbow and the wrist into the palm of the hand, the heel of the hand, which is just as strong, okay, as it, in fact it's better because you get a more purchase on mm. it. So therefore, it was a vicious strike. We went, went, as Bugs Bunny would say, as Bugs Bunny said, we went via Albuquerque then. (laughs) That was an absolute rot. Did you like that? (laughs) No, it was a great attempt. (laughs) Mind you, Penlong just got fined for it too. Yeah, we should have. Don't hit him, mate. Don't hit. That's true. Open hand, closed fist, I don't care. You hit, free kick. Melbourne supporters, feel free to hit us up and tell us what you think of that. Seriously. (laughs) Melbourne supporters. You know the difference between a Melbourne supporter and an aeroplane engine? What? Eventually, an aeroplane engine stops whining. Oh, <laughs> you're gonna have a busy week, Rich. <laughs> Joel, yes, or as they say in America, the, Joel. Joel, How is that do, like a buoy? Yeah, a buoy instead mm, of a boy. Yeah. Yeah. How do Collingwood play Essendon and Carlton twice every year in a fixture that is meant to bracket teams based on ladder position the previous year? Yeah, well, money, money, money. money. They actually played. Uh, there was a couple of years back when Carlton were useless. We only played them once. Which, you know, used to drive me mad because I was trying to get the win-loss ratio back oh. and when they were useless. <laughs> <laughs> I, wanted, I wanted us to play them twice. It's still pretty close, isn't it? It's only one or two differences. Yeah, it's two. Three, two. Uh, three now. That we, three. Uh, it was, no, not long ago, it was level. It was two. Did they, we won earlier. 
got a mental block. Yeah, yeah Richard, can you count it? No, it's only it's two the difference at the yeah, moment. Yeah, I don't reckon it's more than no, three. No, no, it's two. Mm. Uh, Should the AFL consider it instead of a buy between the regular season yeah. finals, uh, state of origin, and yeah, bring yeah. back the no, Ted State video. of origin, can, can, uh, I listened to Tom Elliott say this. I sent him a text the other day. I said, Tom, it's like asking you to do the extra week in December. No but chance. You're gone. No. One, everyone's on holiday. Unless you played in Bali, there's no one around, right, once the season finishes. Two, by the time you get to about this time of year, players are hanging on there trying to, mm. when am I going to go in to get this operation and, and, and the mental thing. Mm. They're not going to play an exhibition game at the end of the year. Just put a line through that and we don't need it. We don't need anything taking away from the focus mm. on the finals. As I said, the only time to do it is in the two weeks of pre-season beforehand. Don't even contemplate doing it during the middle of the year. Yep. Full stop. And last one, I hear all this hype. If you hype want to play at the end of the year, play an international game. Yep. Against Ireland. Last one from James. I hear all this hype about Hawthorne at the moment, but even if they do make the eight, do either of you actually think they can do any damage? Yes, I do. Yeah, I do too. Because momentum is a certainly magnificent the, thing. Certainly the first two weeks they could make some... Yep. Have a look notes. at some of the have the three, uh, the final four, to use an American term, last year. At this point, we're outside the eight. So, uh, yep. Swans, oh, actually, sorry, Giants, Blues and Swans, they did some damage in the finals. They certainly oh. did. 